Howdy, welcome back to the channel. Today we got some brand new stuff for the shop. Let's go check it out. Here are the wheels I bought. Um, so I got three brand new wheels. I got 140 grit, 14,000 and 50,000 for my cabbing machine. These are Diamond Pacific Nova wheels. This is not sponsored. Um, but I was having some issues with some sanding processes and I figured this would be a good time to get some additional wheels. So go ahead and get this opened up here. Sorry, my hands are not working like they should be today. So this is the 140 grit wheel. These wheels will need to be broken in. Um, and also it says here, do not run dry. It has to be used with water. So I'll use some test pieces that I don't really have any intentions of doing anything else with. Just to kind of get these broken in. And um, I'll show you here what I plan on doing with the machine. So that is the 140 grit. That's here, 14,000. We'll get the sticker off here. It's the 14,000. It looks very rough, but again, you have to get these broken in so it's not as abrasive. So, just need to get these broken in. And then after that, they'll work just fine. So that's the 14,000, and this is the 50,000 grit. It's like an unboxing. <laughs> so this is 50,000. Again, it, you can run this in either direction. Um, do not run dry for any of these wheels. It has to have water. But um, 50,000, so I'll get these work on, on getting broken in. And then, I don't know how many of you have been here since day one of starting this channel, but the very first video I ever did was I think it was the very first video. It's been it's been a while, but I used my Dremel to polish the Thunder Egg and show the differences of the of the points. I said at some point that I would do a updated video of that. Well, it's been two years now, <laughs> and I finally got around to getting some uh, sanding points. So these are the Diamond Pacific Nova points. So I didn't know the size differences, so I got um, let's see here for the cylinder ones. I got uh, small and large. Kind of see the differences there a little bit. There's a, small, a slight difference. I try to get to do the same thing for the points here, but they are sold out of the small points. So I got a set of large points. And uh, let's see here. We're going to open it up. And it should say what each color of the wheel is or the point. So this comes with um, four different grits. It comes with 280, 600, 1200, 3000. So the black one here, that's the 280 grit. The brown point is the 600 grit. The gray point is the 1200 grit. And the rose colored point is the 3000. So in comparison to these points, so let's take these points for a second and we'll go over to the cabbing machine right quick. So when we're looking at a cabbing machine, the one on the far left, the black point, that's the 280 grit and this wheel is a 280 grit. This um, brown-ish color wheel, that's the 600. And, oh my gosh, get my hand to work here. Oh, that's fine. This one's the 600. Focus, please. Thank you. The gray one here, that is the 1200. And then we have the rose colored one, which is the 3000 grit. So basically, I have the same stages of grits for a smaller portable machine for like really small, intricate items that would be too small to really use for these wheels. And I have a various selection of diamond hard um oh gosh hard points for carving so i have this in the palm of my hand and i still have to kind of get working on this a little bit this is a high speed sander um a richardson's thunder rig sander um, that they produce here in oregon i have to get some more grits for this i think i have a few grits that it came with so we got uh 400 is it all 400 the mixed uh, yes, yeah, so those are all 400. 
stage down. This doesn't say, but it feels more abrasive. So that I think it's 220. Yeah, that's 220 grit. And then, ooh, that one's very abrasive. And then 60 grit. So with those, I can probably actually get as high, high as a 400 grit, but then probably have to use um, my other machine over there to maybe get a slightly higher grit because I have 600 grit on that wheel. Uh, or just invest in some higher grit sandpaper. It's on there right now. I have no idea. But yeah, so at some point I'll be working with this. Going back to these wheels here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to be adjusting this machine a little bit. Um, we're going to take out these two hard diamond wheels. We're going to replace them with um, the soft Nova wheels. And we're actually going to shift kind of things around. Um, and this will be mainly for the soft Nova wheels. I'll still keep these wheels just in case, but for the most part, I have two hard diamond wheels in this one. I have two hard diamond wheels down there. So like having these, it's, it's not really needed right now. <laughs> this could be more of a finishing station rather than a hard uh, grinding station. So let's go ahead and swap out those wheels really quick. Take off my ring so I don't ruin it. So since we are going to be changing a few things around, Those are on there a little tight. Yeah, this one's comes off pretty easily. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna shift everything. So this side of the machine will be 1,200, 3,000, and then 14,000. I'll see. I'll save the 50,000 grit wheel for at a later date, I guess, um, or just use as needed. At some point, I will have to break it in though. Um, and then this side will be the uh, two, oh gosh, I forgot what that grit was already. So 140, 280, and then the 600. So we're just going to move everything around. And this is the fourteen thousand. Oh, need my spacer. Those are important. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess I should also bring up since you know I already have this taken apart. Um. Spacers are actually very important for this machine because uh, if you actually look up here, let's take the whole camera here. I have uh, these drip lines and that controls the water flow. Um, I have it set up to where you can actually, I, I can make my own spacers uh, if I need to adjust things ever so slightly. I just take some PVC cutter and some PVC that will fit onto this and the mix are actually very good spacers. It's super easy to do too. Okay. Um, let's see here. What was it doing? Uh, 3,000. 14,000. <laughs> Again, spacer. I spaced it. And then, there we go. Okay. Hand tighten. Just because I often actually, <laughs> I take these off quite often to do bigger pieces. What I'll do is, uh, I'll take off these two wheels, and I have special spacers where it allows me to have, you know, I can put uh, the spacers in between this one side and the, and the nut over here. You know, I can only use the center wheel for bigger pieces. So that's why I only keep it really hand tight, except for this other side. I think I may have tightened it too much because I can't quite. There we go. Carpal tunnels acting up a little bit. Okay. 
These are not name brand wheels. I will keep them for something else as needed. Okay. So our 600 grit wheel now goes down here. Followed by a 280 spacer. Followed by 140. That was some of the updates and additions here in the shop. If you want to see me break in some of these Nova wheels and how I do it, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to do so. But until then, you guys are all awesome and I will see you guys in the next one. Rock on.